What is up everyone? JD here. Hope you're doing well today. Got a mail call for you today. Let's go ahead and jump into it. So some of this stuff is just going to be maintenance oriented stuff and then we have a couple of goodies. Today's unboxing knife is going to be the EMP EDC Relative. This one will be coming back in stock real soon for those of you out there chasing. Don't fret, it will be coming back really, really soon. This one here is going to be, I believe, some replacement skiffs that I needed. I just used my last one on my Synapse XL, so I needed some more of the six millimeter 1 16th bearings. That's all that's in there. I think I just ordered like a set of three because it's not that common of a size. Moving these two to the side, full disclosure, I did peek in here. I thought this was something I needed for a honeydew list. I'm replacing the faucet in the uh, kitchen and didn't realize this was something totally different. So I had seen this on, I forgot where it was. I saw this somewhere and it looked really interesting. So I thought I would check it out. It's the Micro Mark. And the reason I like this one is because of the fact, hold on. How am, how am I getting in here, guys? <laughs> this one here has a very interesting trick up its sleeve. Okay, there's a staple in there. So let's get it out of the box. Don't need that anymore. The trick that it has, let me see here. And just lift up. Yep. And uh, have it upside down, I think. I don't know. And the trick that it has up its sleeve is that it takes both regular and it takes um, the micro bits. So I don't see, here we go, T8. So the T8 will go all the way down in there and you can use it that way. The other thing that I like too is that if you wanted, you can set it to ratchet, so, or if you want it to be fixed, you just stick it in the middle and then you can go left or right. The other thing that was really cool about this is it has a spinning top. So if you're using it, you can use it like a driver, like a lot of the drivers that you've seen me use that have the ball bearings on the top, you can do that as well. And then when you pull it out of here, the magnet slides up with the bit. And I do have both sides of these bits and I love the fact that it did come with uh, T6 and a T8. There's no T10 here. And then over here you have no hex bits, but that's okay. I have a bunch of them, but for demonstration purposes, we'll stick this in here. And as you can see there, perfectly. I'll give a full review on this and demonstrate using it to let you know what I think about it. But I thought that the micro mark, which I will link, was a very interesting, oh, wrong way very interesting alternative to some of the bits that are out there um, and I think this one was around 30 bucks or so and again I'll link it down in this video too but I'm going to do a full review of that so that you guys can see what that is all right so this one here is one that I ordered myself we'll go ahead and open this one first because I believe the other one is part of the pass around that lefty does so let me get in here because I am actually very excited to check this one out. It's from CJRB. And it's, oh, they still aren't doing the names of these. Hopefully it is, <laughs> hopefully it is inside the package what it is. Nope, nothing there. I do love their updated packaging though. It's really quite the upgrade. You're not getting this from any other manufacturer where it has this nice of a box and this nice of a pouch. You are getting from Civivi the really, you know, standard box. There's nothing wrong with it, but this one here is really presenting well um, as far as I'm concerned. Now this is the Ray Laconico design. Future me, you'll have to throw up the screen name. I think it's something like the Echo or something to that degree. Oh, totally missed. Uh, but I'm not 100% sure. I thought I would do something a little bit different too. I normally don't go for the G10 laminate combination where it has the carbon fiber laminate on top of G10 but I thought I would go ahead and check this one out and I wanted to see what the button lock was like so this one is let's see if it shows it on here 
Ray Laconico, right? Am, am I seeing that right? Yeah, Ray Laconico. Sorry, a little hard to tell from the camera. Um, and I think it's the Echo. No, that's just saying the model number and that it has AR RPM 9. And then over here, you got the CJRB. So it's full steel liners. You definitely can tell that it's not uh, it's not a 50-50 balance. You have to be back here to get the even weight. So it does feel a little ass heavy, but that's just right out the gate. This is not a review of any of this stuff. If you're interested in that, you're going to need to tune in for a full review. I'm going to need just a, you know, a little bit of time with the knife to really get a sense of everything that's going on. Action, blades, edge, geometry, ergos, all that stuff. I just need a little bit of time with the knife to be able to determine what that is. But let's go ahead and use this to get into the pass around. This one in here is a little stuck, so I'm going to probably just go from the top and hope that I'm not cutting into anything. I think we're okay. It looks like we're okay. So let me go ahead and just finish cutting into that. Feels like it's a decent edge, but again, full review. We'll come to the channel. If you're interested in that, make sure you're subscribed. All right, let's see what we got here. So this is coming from said Steve. And again, lefty pass around group. I'm gonna keep one of these and then pass the rest of these around and add mine to it. This one here, I can't remember which giant mouse this is. There's two that are going around in his group and it is the Tribeca. I don't even remember what this one looks like if I'm honest with you guys. Um, check out said Steve if you haven't checked out his channel or you're not familiar with him. Pretty cool little guy, a uh, pretty cool little channel from a cool guy. Uh, just a little bit of troll candy in there. Okay, yes, I do remember which one this is. This is very interesting. I don't remember if this one is being made by Giant Mouse or if this is a Riot made one. But there you go, the Trebekah. Beautiful stone wash. Cool little knife. Got a full Ford finger choil on here. Uh, just a little snug for me right there, but it's got that Vox style jimping here. This is going to be a really cool knife to check out for that sub three inch category. Um, let's just check out the action real quick. It's got a very cool flipper tab. It's like a quarter moon shape. Oh, that thing fires. Wow. Can you, can you, yeah, you can thumb stud flip it, but there you go. Just really quick. We have the Tribeca. We have the Echo, I want to say from GJRB. And then we have the Mar My Micro Mark that I'm going to be checking out myself. Oh yeah. And I picked up some skiffs. So that's the unboxing for today. If you are again interested in checking that out, make sure you are subscribed to the channel for that full review. Thanks and shout out to everyone out there that does leave the likes, comments, and subscribe. I appreciate the support. I love you guys. I hope you have a fantastic week. And until next time, peace.